Welcome to this edition of Racing News. In the show this week, it's all about champion season. With March and April having already seen 13 minor feature races run, it was officially lights, camera and action in the province a week ago. As feature racing drew to a close on the Haarfeld, the much-anticipated champion season launched in KZN. Well, it's great that champion seasons come around again. We kick off tonight, of course, with some fabulous racing with snow dance on show. And uh, unfortunately, of course, O Susanna's had to be scratched from the Daisy Guineas, but we've got the Cape Guineas winner, Tapper North. And that's just a sample of what's to come. There are so many great race meetings during champion season 2018 as we build up towards the first Saturday of July. And of course, the last Saturday of July is also going to be another splendid affair. We've got the uh, World Sports Betting 1900 as a trial day two. Then we go into the top Sun Sprint meeting at the at the end of May at Maritzburg, a jackpot of four grade one sprints, the Daily News, the Rising Sun Gold Challenge. It's so great having all the best horses from around the country in Durban. Uh, we met up with the trainers during the week to welcome them to Durban and uh, the vibe, especially flowing out of the very successful Bloodstock South African National Yelling Sale, seems to be on a high and uh, we, we're really looking forward to this. It was absolutely amazing, out of this world. It was awesome. I'm all over Pretoria. It's my first time at Gravel and it was really spectacular. I'll definitely come and visit again. Absolutely awesome. I'm expecting even better in July. <laughs> it was really, really beautiful and they all just looked so stunning on the field. So it was really nice. Uh, the vibe was very upbeat and it was very beautiful as well. The dancers. The, the, stunning. The, it's stunning, yeah, yeah. very beautiful and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, oh, I, I loved it. I tried to film it with my small camera over here. It's not as big as yours, um, <laughs> Alan, but <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I got some great, great shots. And you're having a good time to wonder? Having a fantastic time. Fantastic night, eh? I ride the lead horse, we've had a good evening, great vibe here at Gravel. Great weather, really good day. I loved it, Michelle. I thought it was nice, it was vibey. A bit noisy for me you know, as I'm getting older, but lovely, very enjoyable. Great start to the season. Great start to the season. It's a pity about the track, uh, you know, the not being as, uh, at its best, which it should be. But we're going to fix it and uh, we're going to improve from here. I thought it was actually amazing. I mean, we're down from Pretoria and uh, we're invited for the evening. Yes and uh, it's fantastic to see. So I won today. <laughs> what did you win? Uh, race five. Okay, cool. <laughs> did you watch the opening ceremony? I watched the, the opening ceremony. It was great. The cheerleaders, the yeah. everything, the dance, the everything. It was very yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. Are you having a good time here? Yes, definitely. I'm having a good time. The ceremony, the opening, the music. It was great. <laughs> And you girls are going to party tonight, are you? Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Party. <laughs> Champion season has been staged annually for decades. It showcases outstanding racing amongst the best thoroughbreds in the country.
It's built around Africa's greatest horse racing event, the Grade 1 Vodacom Durban July. Vodacom Durban July flashing to the line, heavy metal number two. Legislate, winner of the 2014 Vodacom Durban July. Power King Punta Arenas, eyeball to eyeball, Power King from Punta Arenas. Number 14, the conglomerate, he wins an half a length decision. Mara Naresco, first runner for Candace Bass Robinson, an emotional team. Don't be surprised, but the festival is one of the most comprehensive you'll find anywhere in the world. And yes, it's right here in South Africa in KZN. The variety in its program of events caters for all age groups and categories of thoroughbreds and includes the ultimate challenges in the country for three-year-olds and particularly the juveniles that face grade level tests from 1200 meters through to the mile in three major race days. Champion season 2018 promises racing enthusiasts, regular and occasional racegoers, the punters in general, an eventful, entertaining and exciting festival of thoroughbred racing. It stands alone in stature and confirms KZN as the racing capital of South Africa. Horses started arriving in KZN from late March. It's exciting times for us. Uh, there's a huge buzz at Summerfelt at the moment with all these visiting horses, uh, extra horses in the mornings and so on. Uh, we've had uh, trainers like Justin Slate and Vaughan Marshall who have joined us at the end of uh, April, March. Uh, trainers like Candace Bass and all have their own yards down here. Uh, Brett Crawford was granted a satellite permanent satellite yard at the end of August last year. So he's also been here around for a while now. Yeah, it's good to have all these guys around. It's exciting. Uh, we've got all the trainers down here. We've got the jockeys. Nice horses means nice uh, fields, means nice turnover. And most of the high fell trainers, apart from Alec Laird, have indicated that they will raid from their home base. Maybe they feel it's better, the climate and so on. And it's not really that far from Johannesburg to KZN. So yeah, most like trainers like Mike de Kock and so on have indicated that they will raid from their home base. Independent newspapers are one of the major sponsors of racing in the province and they help launch champion season with the Grade 2 Independent on Saturday drill hall stakes over 1400 metres. Perovsky is a big runner. Perovsky sails south down the inside. Undercover agent's got a race on its hands. Perovsky on the outside. Perovsky an undercover agent. Perovsky won it. Undercover. Harold, congratulations. What a way to start the season. Thank you very much. You've come up from Cape Town just with the one horse? Yeah, just the one horse. So this was his mission, was it? I said if he can win this, which I didn't... I think, you know, all is going to be hard. But uh, then I can look for another race or two for him here. Yeah. Now he's a very gutsy horse. He fights on and fights on. And he only ran one bad race. And that was just after I gave him the African horse sickness. And every other race, he runs a genuine race. He's proven to be an exceptional investment, having cost just 70,000 rand at the 2015 Bloodstock South Africa National Two-Year-Old Sale. His six wins and five places from 14 starts has taken his earnings to just over 700,000 rand. Perovskia was bred by Gary Player Stud. He's a son of Equus champion three-year-old Russian Sage, out of a key Danzig mare and one-time winner, what a girl. I said to Mr. Play, you must take a mare back to Russian sites. And he said, no, it's too late to go. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have you here in Natal, and we wish you all the best during the rest of the season. Thank you very much. The grade two guineas races yielded somewhat unexpected, but nevertheless exciting results. Fiorella's making a big race of it. Snow Dance is going to have to dig down. Fiorella's on the outside. Snow Dance just clinging to the lead. It's close. They hit the line and I think Fiorella got her. Okay. I suppose it's what dreams are made of. It was unexpected. I didn't think I'd win the race, but in saying that I knew I had a decent filly coming into the race, 
hoping to run a great second, but we got there in front, and I suppose that's all that counts. Well, like I said, we, the stable's been through a rough patch with the virus and that, and it doesn't reflect earlier form how good the horses really are. But now that we're bouncing back to form, and a lot of effort at home has been put into the yard, and Anton's riding, riding at the top of his game, it all helps, and it's, it's, it's a team effort. And as well to the owner, Dave McLean, you can't do it without the bloodstock. Fiorello was bred by Fasventin and sold for 700,000 Rand at the National Yearling Sale. She's now won four races and been placed four times from nine starts for stakes of just over 600,000 Rand. She's by Captain L out of SA Oaks winner Arcola. An exceptionally good stud farm. They breed a horse that trains on. Uh, very sound horses, and if you look after them as youngsters, they train on into very nice three and four year olds. Well, all the best. We look forward to lots more from you this season, Duncan. Well, I think you'll hear a lot more from this filly. Daisy Guineas, grade two, 1600 meters. Ready to be set free, they dispatch from the 1600 meter marker. The scratching of Sun Met winner O Susanna with a bruised heel from the Daisy Guineas was a disappointment for racing fans, but the exciting win by stable companion Do It Again had everyone talking. Do it again and sniper shot over the last hundred, but do it again takes it up and it's do it again to win it. Sniper shot will be for sure. He's the highest rated horse in the race, but uh, we thought. Uh, the way the track's running, it, it was very hard for a horse to come from behind today. There's a strong tailwind, uh, short run in, it, everything's against him. So uh, to win over a mile here, and he's not a miler, he is a, a 2,000 meter horse. The lightly raced Do It Again has now won three races and placed twice from five starts for stakes of just over 700,000 rand. Bred by Northfields, this athletic son of twice over out of the six-time winning Sweet Virginia was bought by John Freeman for 1.1 million rand at the 2016 National Yearling Sale. It's a great story. Today's come with a lot of hard work, a lot of moments where you question yourself. Snowdance got beat and the punters are going to be very upset and I, I don't enjoy that. Uh, I, I think um, she was a little bit unlucky, she got to the front, she was battling under the lights a bit, she didn't settle like she normally does, so uh, that's just things we'll work out and iron out uh, uh, when we're back at the yard. She'll come back, trust me, don't worry about that. We come on for a big mission, but I suppose we can, we can give this a tick and <laughs> got the guineas, it's, it's a... Uh, you, you can't walk away uh, uh, too upset, no, 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 too, we're, too, we're sometimes too hard on ourselves. Just talking about O oh, Susanna, how is she? She's doing well at home, she'll be ready for the Will Abington. I picked up a few things today, we're always trying to learn and today is a good day for me to pick up on where I am with certain horses, what I might need to do to bring her straight into the Will Abington. Well last season you always said to us you were here for the feature races. No doubt you are again this time, and it's wonderful to have you here, and all the best. We look forward to seeing you and your horses throughout the season. No, thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to it, and you know, Gold Circle, they're trying hard, uh, I always say so, and uh, kudos to them. So how does the rest of champion season face up? Let's take you through what you can expect that'll keep you on the edge of your seats. The Sorgo Sun Sprint Race Meeting at Scottsville on Saturday the 26th of May is unique in staging four Grade 1 sprint events over 1,200 metres. It's headed by the 1 million rand merit rated handicap, the Sorgo Sun Sprint. The SA Philly Sprint caters for the ladies. Carry on Alice says I'm here. She won it in 2015. She wins it again. And the juveniles face their first major Sam test MC in the Sorgo Sun Gold Medallion and the Allen Robertson Championship. Brave Mary's in front by two lanes from Green Plains and it's going to go to Brave Mary. Although there's top class racing every weekend throughout the three month season, Champion season has five major race days that offer the most competitive racing in the country. After the fast and furious sprint day at Scottsville, racing returns to Gravel a week later on Saturday the 2nd of June. The three-year-olds take centre stage here 
They line up in the country's two premier middle distance, level weights, clashes, the 2 million rand Grade 1 Daily News 2000 and the 1 million rand Grade 1 Woolavington 2000. Lady of the house pulls it out. These two races attract the best of their age group in the country and are well known for producing champions or even July contenders and winners. With the ultimate focus of the season being on the first Saturday in July, the 1 million rand Grade 1 Rising Captain Sun Gold America Challenge over a mile and, and the Grade America 3 America Cup trial right over 1800 Captain meters America. give Vodacom Durban July hopefuls a final opportunity to earn a place in the big race final field. He's the reason probably why I'm, I'm we in racing. You can see the people, he, he responds to everybody. Everybody loves Captain America. <laughs> it's just like just this excitement that we get is, is unbelievable. Vodacom Durban July Day on July the 7th will again compare with those major events around the world. The big race itself carries a stake of 4.25 million rand. It's not only part of our country's culture, but enjoys international status as one of the racing world's notable events. Graham, we seem to have a bumper lot of entries this year. Very early stage, of course, 69 entries at the first round and we'll produce our first Vodacom Durban July log during the course of next week, uh, ahead of the time for the uh, first acceptances and the first supplementary entries, which happen on the 13th and 14th of May. The entries at this stage, interesting. Phillies are very well represented and could this be the year of the ladies again? Who knows? Uh, but there's a long way to go, but we're delighted with the quality and quantity of entries we received. All of the best around are, are in there, and I guess they're going to there are going to be a few more that are going to come on board during the course of the next uh, couple of weeks. The day also hosts the Wait for Age Grade One Johnson Workwear Garden Province Stakes over 1,600 meters. It is one of, if not the most, prestigious race for fillies and mares in the country. It heads the supporting program for the day that includes the second leg of the juvenile graded program, the Durban Golden Horseshoe and Golden Slipper. Both these are grade two events over 1400 meters that take the young horses up to the next level. For the next three weeks, race goers have an opportunity to come down from cloud nine, even if for just a short while, to prepare themselves for the grand finale of the season, Super Saturday at Gravel on July the 28th. The meeting stages Africa's most famous marathon event, the 3,200 meters 1.25 million Elan Gold Cup. But also on the card are no less than four grade one races over distances from 1,200 to 1,800 meters. Under the Wait for Age classification, both the Grade 1 Mercury Sprint and Grade 1 World Sports Betting Champions Cup are races with famous histories and records. They've been won by some of our country's best thoroughbreds. The juveniles once again take to the track in the Premier's Champion Stakes and the Tequini Stakes. Over 1,600 metres, each race carries Grade 1 status and stakes of 750,000 Rand. They race to savour as they generally herald future champions. The Golden Horse Casino Sprint Race Day at Scottsville on May the 28th. The Daily News 2000 at Gravel on Saturday the 2nd of June. The Rising Sun Gold Challenge on Saturday the 10th of June. The Vodacom Durban July on Saturday the 7th of July. And the Elan Gold Cup at Gravel on July the 28th are the major Grade 1 race days and not to be missed. It's a wonderful season ahead with first class racing. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, Racing News TV Show, and catch all the show's replays on YouTube. We'll see you again in a fortnight on Sunday, the 27th of May.